Hi, my name is Gareth Jones, Professor uh, I Business School in Madrid and co-author with Professor Rob Goffey of Why Should Anyone Work Here? What It Takes to Create an Authentic Organization, published by Harvard Business Review Press. This book is fundamentally about what it takes to create an organization where people can be their authentic selves and do their best work. It builds on our previous book, Why Should Anyone Be Led By You? And it takes the analysis of authenticity from the individual and relational level to the organizational level. It attempts to ask people what kind of organization would attract you, retain you, and enable you to develop continuously. Uh, the key findings, which are based on studies that we did with mainly executives all over the world, but not exclusively executives, were, it, were, were produced in answer to the question, what would the organization of your dreams look like? What would the organization you really want to work, work in look like? And we developed a model called DREAMS, it's a mnemonic. And DREAMS stands for the following features of authentic organizations. D, difference beyond diversity. Not just measuring gender, race, age, religion, and so on, but organizations where you can really be yourself. R, radical honesty. Tell me the truth before someone else does. In a world of social media and WikiLeaks, corporate secrets are over. E, extra value. Add value to me, don't exploit me. A, authenticity. Mean what you say and say what you mean. M, meaning. I want a meaningful job in an organization which itself has meaning. S, simple agreed rules, not a fog of bureaucracy. The findings presented in the book are based on the following research methodologies. We are both lucky in that we work in, in business schools where the subjects of our research walk past our offices every day. And our formulation of the question, why should anyone work here, was based on this. Our previous book, Why Should Anyone Be Led By You, had argued that authenticity is a necessary but insufficient condition for the exercise of leadership. And one clever and rational response to that has been, well, okay, Gareth and Rob, I'll be an authentic leader when I work in an authentic organization. But since I don't, I'll go on being the same political player I've been for the last 20 years. So we started to ask people, well, what would an authentic organization look like? So that's our primary research method. And then as we moved on with the research, we tested that model against organizations that we knew and were working with and that we were interested in for research purposes. And then we collected questionnaire data. And then later through Harvard Business Review, we had an online survey. If we have a regret about the method is that we are heavily biased towards the executive population, though we have indeed tried the model uh, out elsewhere in the organization and to our great pleasure, it seems to resonate rather well. What makes this book different is that I think two things. One, authenticity has been primarily conceived of as an attribute of individuals. And this book tries to look at authenticity as a property of organizations. And secondly, even though the book does relate to the myriad of books on engagement, and engagement has become one of the kind of um, buzzwords of contemporary HR practice, we try to, in a way, reframe the whole debate about what does engagement mean and try to make sure that engagement is not treated as just another band-aid sticking plaster to some of the fundamental problems that organizations face. So in a funny kind of way, I, 
I don't think there are many books quite like this, though there are lots of books which are about engagement and motivation and so on. Uh, Rob and I are both sociologists by training and we've tried to bring a stubbornly sociological perspective to all of the work that we've done in the last 20 years. I think this book is especially relevant to HR practitioners, though of, hope, of course we hope it will be read more widely in the organization, but in the human capital community, anyone concerned with questions of organizational development will find the sort of macro question, what would an authentic organization look like, I think tantalizing. More specifically, people concerned with talent management, how do you identify, attract and retain the people who can add most value to your organization, and of course, those involved in the continuous process of leadership development, not just at the top, but all over organizations. Mm -hmm.